What's up guys, I am Black Ops Amazing and welcome to another Zombies video on my channel. So today we are looking at the top 5 best zombie bosses from Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1 and World at War. These are all in my opinion and this was requested by Dan Slurik on the last video which was the top 5 worst zombie bosses. If you want to check that video out I will link it down in the description or you can also click the image on screen now. So getting into this video, the 5th best zombie boss in my opinion are the Space Monkeys from Ascension. Now to be totally honest to you, it was really difficult for me to pick a number five for this list purely because it could have really just been anything else since this is a top five and I do have to have a number five um, honestly I don't really like the space monkeys but like I said it's a top five I need to have a number five so I am gonna put the space monkeys here I do think they're cool I do think they're different to anything we had on any other map I really do like the way they look they are kind of cute I guess you could say and um, not that difficult to kill they are small so your aim needs to be good but they're not that difficult to kill either and it's just the way they actually enter on the map via these little space shuttles or whatever they are they crash onto the map I really like the way they make an entrance and they just make the map seem different for a round or two so a little bit about these things they appear every four to five rounds what they do do is actually steal your perks or kind of they attack the perk machines and try to take perks from you which is extremely annoying so like I said it was really difficult for me to pick a number five but that's what I'm gonna put there anyway if you guys have any different ideas on what you would put there for number five because for me like like I said it was really difficult it doesn't really matter for me what it is but if I did have to choose something it would be them let me know what you would put in the comment section below in at number four we're going back to monkeys again but this time we have the zombie monkeys from Shangri-La now these for one look absolutely amazing look at their face they really do look scary especially for something in Call of Duty zombies anyway they are really small so again your aim does need to be good to actually kill them but they are really easy to kill unlike the ascension monkeys the space monkeys they are actually really easy to kill which is awesome and also these actually help you out in a way they can help you out in a way depending on how skilled you are so anyway once a zombie actually drops a perk what the monkeys will then do is run onto the map and hit you once what they will then do is steal your perk so for example if it was a perk that you don't really want something useless maybe it was a um I don't know, maybe it was a fire sale or something like that and you didn't need any more weapons. The monkeys will then steal that perk and run away with it and the perk will actually change to other various perks whilst they actually are holding it. So you, if you time it right and shoot the monkey at the exact right time, you can change that perk into anything you need. So for example, you need a max ammo, you could change that fire sale into a max ammo and um, you know that can keep you going on the game forever so that's absolutely amazing also you get a load of points from actually killing these you get 500 points every time you kill one of these which again is absolutely amazing and also you can actually obtain a free perk from these if you do it exactly right I believe you have to get a max ammo from them twice on the same monkey and you will get yourself a free perk as well which is amazing I also forgot to mention you only get 500 points if you kill it before it steals the perk and also um, if it does end up stealing a perk and you needed to change it but you actually don't kill it, you end up missing, uh, that means your perk has just gone and you've wasted it. So anyway, moving on to my third favourite zombie boss. We have the Jumping Jacks or the Minions from the map Die Rise. Now, you may be thinking, why have I put these in at my number three best zombie boss? Well, I think these are extremely different from anything we've had on any other map before. They do kind of look like the Nova Crawlers uh, that we've seen before, but they act extremely different. They just jump around everywhere. They try to slap you. Half of the time, they miss you, which I actually find is uh, quite funny. They just look really, really awesome. I think they're different. They just suit this map extremely well and just make it so so, so much different and much more interesting also they can help you out if you end up knifing all of them which without shooting a bullet at them you just have to knife them all for a round and um, you will get yourself a free perk as well which is absolutely amazing and again it's quite easy to do especially if you've got more than one player on the map and I just really do like them I like the way they look I like the way they act and um, I just think they are a really awesome and cool zombie boss. So my second favourite zombie boss may come as a little bit of a surprise to you guys. But it is on one of my favourite maps ever. Mob of the Dead and I have picked Brutus. So the reasons I have him as my second favourite boss is one because he's on my all time favourite map. Or one of my favourite maps ever which is Mob of the Dead. It's such a creepy map. It's so eerie. The easter egg to it is absolutely amazing. I love the characters. 
Um, it's just the way this whole map looks. The only thing I would really ever say that's bad about it is maybe just it's a bit too small and confined and the um, there's not really too much space to walk about. But again, that's just another reason of why this map is so good. That Everything about this map is amazing. And Brutus, the boss on this map, is just an awesome addition to it. And also this boss has an awesome little storyline behind him. I just think he looks absolutely amazing. He's big as well, so he kind of like overpowers you. So a bit of information about him. Brutus, he's also Referred within the game files as the cell breaker is a special type of enemy uh, on the zombie map mob of the dead and it's similar to the uh, grief one as well so he spawns in randomly with the other zombies during any rounds and what he does is he kind of like shuts down the perk machine so anything that you've brought or anything that you've made he will shut that down and you have to kind of pay to open it up again and then you'll also have to pay to buy it again so that's really the only annoying thing about him also is because he can hit you he's not too hard to kill especially if you have a ray gun you can kill him extremely quickly or if you've got the blundergat uh, the one that you've actually made yourself you can kill him actually quite easily or even with a normal pack of punch gun you can actually kill him quite easily he's not that hard to deal with so I really do just like him even though he's not the most helpful boss he does actually drop you a random perk when he dies and he'll leave some smoke behind as well um, he's not the most helpful boss but he is definitely one of the most coolest out there for me so getting in my all-time favorite zombie boss ever in at number one for me is the classic hellhounds so for my number one zombie boss, we have the classic Hellhounds. Now these first appeared for their own special round on the map Shino Numna and World at War. They were also on Doris as well. They then appeared on Kino de Toten on Black Ops 1 and also on Moon. And you can actually also get them on Dead Ops Arcade as well, which isn't very good. We're not going to talk about that one. And they are also on Black Ops 2 as well. If you go onto a custom game on Green Run for Black Ops 2, you could actually choose to turn Hellhounds on as well. So they're actually on every Call of Duty game, um, even if you didn't know it. And they are just classic. They were basically the first zombie bosses we got. The first ones we ever got on World at War were these. These are the ones that everyone remembers. They've got a storyline behind them. Like I said, they just look absolutely amazing with their red glowing eyes and the fire coming out of them and just how their skin is all messed up. So the Hellhounds are essentially zombie dogs that are mutated versions of Samantha's pet, Fluffy. Fluffy was in um, Darice's mainframe teleporter and then turned into a deadly Hellhound. Um, she later had puppies ac accounting for the rest of the Hellhounds. Hellhounds resemble badly deformed German Shepherds. They randomly spawn throughout maps. The ground shakes whenever they spawn and there will be a heavy fog covering the map. There are two variants of the Hellhound, so there's the Flaming Hellhound and there's also uh, the normal Hellhound which simply falls to the ground and will not explode unlike the Flaming Hellhound which will explode up on death. You also get a max ammo once the round is finished and you've killed them all. So there we have it guys, my top 5 favourite zombie bosses ever. Tell me what you think about this list down in the comments section below. What would be your number 1, what would be your number 5? Put your top 5 down in the comments section below and also like the person who picked me to do this one. Make sure you leave your ideas and suggestions down in the comments section below. Tell me what my next top five zombie list should be and also guys if you do want to help me out and get these videos out quicker you can actually send me the gameplay already if you want to so if you pick a top five that you want if you send me the gameplay for that or you just show me the list first and you send me the gameplay I can obviously give you credit for that as well it just makes it a whole lot easier for me since I don't really play Call of Duty anymore since it's an older game so if you want to do that it's totally up to you leave your comments and everything down in the comments section below hopefully you agree guys thank you for watching leave a like rating if you have enjoyed if we could smash 500 like ratings on a zombies video that'd be absolutely amazing make sure to subscribe for more videos from me and until next time peace out